these films still manage to utterly terrify audiences. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 PG-13 horror movies that are actually scary. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, the films have to have come out after the inception of PG-13 in 1984 and must carry that rating in the United States. Victoria, what's going on? <laughs> oh. It's Lily! Number 10, Lights Out. Esther? This intensely creepy film is the story of a woman plagued by a ghost who can only manifest itself in darkness. First-time director David F. Sandberg was able to make this surprisingly scary film based on the viral success of his initial short film featuring the same name and concept. Lights Out manages to touch on real-world topics such as depression and suicide, and doles out some truly gut-wrenching scares. <laughs> The film was popular enough with audiences that a sequel has been greenlit, though it hasn't quite reached the light of day yet. <laughs> Number 9. The Skeleton Key What took you? 2005 Skeleton Key boasts an exceptionally spooky setting, using a rundown mansion in the Louisiana bayou to weave a mysterious tale about hoodoo. Kate Hudson stars as Carolyn Ellis, a hospice nurse who is dragged into a dark conspiracy by unknown forces while caring for an elderly man. Because I know a spell too, Ben. One that makes you better. Though it was released to mixed reactions, The Skeleton Key features a tense atmosphere, along with some memorable moments during Carolyn's exploration of the mansion. The film concludes with a disturbing ending that is sure to stick in viewers' minds for a long time. A bit harder than the lawyer, wouldn't she? It's harder every time. Number 8. The Mothman Prophecies You're reading my mind, aren't you? You're reading my mind. Loosely based on a 1970s conspiracy theory book, 2002's The Mothman Prophecies dives into the West Virginia urban legend known as the Mothman. Richard Gere plays reporter John Klein, who becomes obsessed with the cryptid following the tragic death of his wife. After a strange occurrence while traveling through Point Pleasant, West Virginia, John begins receiving ominous warnings he believes are from the Mothman. They just come right out and tell us what's on their minds. The film maintains a creepy atmosphere throughout its runtime without having to use gore or overtly mature themes, garnering a rating of PG-13 without sacrificing any scares. Number 7. The Grudge Do you know a woman named Kayako? The remake of an R-rated Japanese horror film, 2004's The Grudge is based on the acclaimed film Ju-On. The Grudge stars Sarah Michelle Gellar as a young American woman who becomes caught up in a curse while taking care of an old woman living in Tokyo. Featuring a family of haunting ghosts and intense scares that push the boundaries of its mild rating, the movie was very popular with audiences in spite of its mixed reviews. The Grudge eventually received an unrated home release, containing scenes that were cut from the theatrical version to ensure its PG-13 rating. But the theatrical cut remains chilling all the same. Number 6. The Others I'm beginning to feel totally cut off from the world. Chilean Spanish director Alejandro Amenabar crafted a frightening ghost story able to scare audiences and critics alike with 2001's The Others. Nicole Kidman stars as widow and mother Grace Stewart in the horror period piece, which takes place shortly after World War II on a rural island in the English Channel. You told your brother that there was someone else in the room. There was. You're lying. I am not. The Others is a classic but effective haunted house tale with genuine scares and striking visuals. The film eventually comes to a truly shocking conclusion that provides chills aplenty despite its PG-13 rating. The horror throwback garnered several awards, a rarity in the genre, and became a financial success. I am your daughter. <gasps> you're, not, you're not my daughter! No, no. Number 5. Mama Daddy, there's a woman outside. Before the success of 2017's It, director Andy Muschietti broke into the mainstream with this haunting gem. 
like most of the movies on our list, Mama relies on old-school tension building instead of violence and gore to generate its scares. It tells the story of two children kidnapped by their murderous father, who are rescued by a mysterious spirit they call Mama. After years alone in the wilderness, the girls are found and returned to civilization. But Mama isn't quite ready for them to leave. The mystery of Mama's identity is unraveled over the course of the film by an almost unrecognizable Jessica Chastain as Annabelle. And the film's ending culminates in a terrifying showdown. Number 4. The Sixth Sense I see dead people. It's the movie twist to end all movie twists. M. Night Shyamalan's The Sixth Sense stars Haley Joel Osment as Cole Sear, a young boy experiencing visions of dead people, while child psychologist Malcolm Crow, played by Bruce Willis, attempts to help him. The supernatural elements of the film are, for the most part, less in-your-face than typical horror movies portraying the spirits as lost souls rather than vengeful ghosts. Dinner is not ready. What are you gonna do? There are a few exceptions, however, including one notably creepy appearance by a young Misha Barton. The Sixth Sense is able to balance fear with humanity in a way that proved to stick with audiences and critics long after its release. Don't say that it tastes funny, you know, I don't need to hear that. Number three, Drag Me to Hell. Lamia. Surely you can be dissuaded from taking this insignificant woman. Directed by horror legend Sam Raimi, 2009's Drag Me to Hell delivers both tense scares and campy humor as a young woman attempts to escape from a curse put on her that promises to send her to hell for eternity. <laughs> Similar to Raimi's classic Evil Dead 2, Drag Me to Hell features over-the-top humor, thrills, and gore that might be off-putting to some, but undeniably give the film its own unique sense of style. The movie features an evil talking goat during a seance, an attack by a murderous elderly woman, and an elaborate fight inside a grave. Drag Me to Hell is a wild ride from beginning to end. <gasps> oh my god! Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Number 2. The Ring And what they say is... You will die in seven days. Here's the second remake of a Japanese movie on our list. Few modern horror films have been able to permeate pop culture as much as The Ring. Naomi Watts stars as Rachel Keller, a journalist who uncovers a horrifying videotape that curses viewers to die after seven days. Seven days. <sighs> Rachel's ex-boyfriend and son also eventually see the tape and Rachel must dive into the mystery behind it to save herself and the people she loves. The film is well known for its nightmare-inducing imagery, like Samara crawling out of the tape through a television. The popularity of The Ring would quickly jumpstart a horror remake trend that would last well into the 2000s. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from here! Run, 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 run! Run! Get run! You guys Number one, Insidious. No PG-13 movie has been able to create moments of fright quite like Insidious. Veteran horror director James Wan's tale of a young boy's struggle against possession features terrifying scenes we're shocked we're able to make it past the MPAA. What? The film's main source of horror is the alarmingly scary demon plaguing the family, shown only in brief glimpses before the climax of the film. Insidious is a PG-13 film that feels like it could just as easily be R-rated due to its sheer terror and its sequels are no slouch in the scares department either. After seeing this, you will never hear Tiny Tim's tiptoe through the tulips the same way again. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.